I'm going to assume you're here because you know what SFML is. It's a massive pain to learn how to implement these things into Visual Studio, and this video is going to explain it very concisely and clearly. First, go to this website if you haven't done so already. The latest stable version to download will be from here. First, decide if you're going to run it in 32-bit or 64-bit. Most likely, you're probably going to use 64-bit. If you're using any specific Visual Studio, you have to get it from here, and I believe 2019 works on 2017 as well. So there's the download for it. Once you've got it downloaded, I just throw it somewhere memorable so you can always come back to it. Next, you just need to locate your Visual Studio solution directory, and then you need include and lib folder, copy those into the solution directory, which is the same directory that has the SLN file. You could probably get away with cutting out the sections that you don't need from here, such as network, or if you don't need networking. But uh, personally, I've never worried about that. Next up, you need to decide if you're going to use debug and release mode or anything else. But first off, I must set this to x64 because I chose 64-bit. And I'm going to build this in debug first, and then I'm going to build it in release. This is necessary to generate the files to be able to drag in the correct files needed. Just by running them, I've now got an x64 debug and release. So in the debug, I'm going to drag in the specific DLLs that I need. The DLLs are located in the bin folder of your SFML. So for this, I'm going to use graphics. So I'm going to take graphics. Graphics also needs window and they all need system. And they'll also need this as well, I believe. I'm just gonna copy those into the debug. For debug, I did the dash D, which stands for debug. For release, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, except I'm gonna get the ones that don't have the dash D. If you're doing something like networking and you're not interested in the graphics, you would just take open L32 system and networking. We're now done in terms of moving files around. We just need to tell Visual Studio about SFML correctly so you can use it. If you right click here and go to properties, the first thing you do is ensure that you're on all platforms and all configurations. If you don't know what this is, this is so you can do things specific to debug or release or whichever else you have in here. You go to C, general, and in the additional includes directory, you need to tell it where that include folder is. If you click edit, it gives you an easier method to type it in. If you click on macros, you have both solution directory and project directory. I, I, I don't know the difference. These will both point to wherever the Visual Studio solution directory is. So if you drag your Visual Studio project somewhere else or even send it to a different computer, it doesn't matter because it's relative to wherever the hell your solution is. You can double click this to Im input it here or you can just manually type that in. Over here, I now just need to type include and hit OK. And this is the solution directory with the SLN file slash include. That's all it needs. It will recognize anything that's in here. Next, we have to repeat this in linker general, but for library directories. And in our case, it's called slash lib, as you can see right here. Finally, we need to go into input and additional dependencies. This is probably the most complicated bit, but it's not bad at all. I've heard that system, sorry, SML dash system needs to be on top. Libs, correct. I've not verified if that's true, but you know what? I just do it every time. And then the rest doesn't matter. So I'm using the system, I'm using the window. Dot lib, is that Windows? One second. It's window. Yeah, we're good. And then I'm also using graphics, which I think is plural. It is plural. And remember this semicolon. Hit OK and apply. And we're not quite done yet because you need to go into debug, hop back into here. And when you're using the debug, you need to type in the dash D to use the correct DLL file. Hit OK, hit apply. And the easy way to test if this is working or not is to do that. If the SFML folder is there, you're good to go. I'm using graphics, I'm going to include this. And I'll quickly whip up a quick test. Here is a very basic window setup. If I run it in debug, it works as expected. And running in release works as expected. And we're done. Hope this was helpful. Enjoy using SFML, it is really great.